And so one of the hot topics within that technological innovation, uh, which so many people seem to be talking about now, is the, the whole digital asset uh, transition. Uh, so cryptocurrencies is, is, is the buzzword within this space, and, and everyone is so aware of the thousands of percents uh, that, that these digital assets have, have appreciated on, on, on the upside. Not up until recently, December of last year, we, we had that 70 or so percent correction, um, which is in line with the, mm -hmm. the drawdown of, of the asset. What, what, what's your take on, on the whole uh, cryptocurrency digital assets? Well, it's been, it's been dramatic, uh, of, of course, and it, that's also a spin-off from technology because it couldn't exist without the rapid rate of technological innovation that mm -hmm. I, I have been talking about and talking about just a moment ago. Uh, so uh, I, I, we had an earlier <clears throat> conversation, which I want to credit you with, and you said that the cryptocurrency actions that we saw last year and that we seem to have been continuing this year, that that was in some ways like the tech boom in 1999-2000 that then um, exploded. That wasn't the end of the whole uh, cycle for technology, quite obviously, mm -hmm. uh, but it had run ahead of itself and uh, the companies needed to find out how to make uh, make money with their with their technology, not just put it into their name, their corporate name. And uh, cryptocurrencies are fascinating. I think it's an extraordinary breakthrough, mm. but it, it has also alarmed uh, plenty of governments, sure. and it's also alarmed financial institutions. Uh, to a certain extent, and partly that's due to the uh, criminal activity, greater or lesser, that's uh, actually been in the background um, of, of all this. But it's also loss of control, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, governments don't like the loss of control that uh, cryptocurrencies can, can actually cause, particularly authoritarian governments. Uh, rather than the democracies. But I, th I think um, all, all governments, it's the nature of governments that they want to be able to control everything or at least monitor it very closely. And um, some want to um, actually drive it out. So they're trying to, they're trying to break the cryptocurrencies uh, to a certain extent. Uh, they won't succeed. They'll, they'll cause a, 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 a multi uh, your corrective phase, um, I think, um, quite, uh, quite, quite easily, uh, as we saw with tech following that burst bubble back in uh, back in 2000. Uh, but then the field regroups and uh, uh, starts to move forward again. And I, I think that cryptocurrencies, I put it this way, uh, that uh, they're not a tulip. As in, as in tulip mania, uh, this is a very significant, interesting uh, development. And uh, how it's actually all going to play out, well, we can only guess uh, as far as that's concerned. But I think cryptocurrencies are not something that is a temporary phenomenon and will, and will disappear. I think they're going to be around for, uh, uh, for the rest of our future and beyond. And, 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 and also to, uh, to circle back to the, the very driver behind it, of course, it is the blockchain technology. Oh, yeah. Um, and and that's, that's the really exciting part of it. Uh, you can't get one without the other, yeah. but certainly they, they have both synonymously worked together. Yes, um, um, absolutely. And again, that's accelerating technological innovation yeah. because you couldn't do that back in 2000. You didn't have the block, blockchain technology. We didn't even have the terminology. Uh, for for that, so the period ahead, uh, I'll emphasize again, this accelerating technological innovation is just going to be uh, astonishing in terms of what uh, what actually happens. 
uh, very positive in many respects, but also very disruptive. And you look at the success of a company like Amazon and how that has challenged uh, really uh, a conventional retailing uh, to, to, to a large extent. So any big technological um, development uh, is inevitably disruption or disruptive in, in one form or another. And we're seeing that already. And in terms of other themes, so tech is, is certainly big uh, for, for everyone to look at. What other themes are, are exciting in, in the new secular world? Well, um, behind technology, uh, I would uh, I, I would say that uh, one of the spin-offs in this is that <clears throat> it helps to keep inflation uh, lower than people were used to, for instance. I look back on my career and I think back in the late 70s and the early 1980s with the uh, astonishing inflation and destructive inflation pressures that we actually saw. Um, technology is, 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 is very efficient, so it'll, it, it, it will not uh, erode the purchasing power of money um, as rapidly uh, as uh, uh, we had seen in earlier uh, earlier eras, and um, I think also it creates uh, more uh, independence for uh, certainly many um, many people. Offices become less crucial than they were in, in earlier cycles. So that's another another very big change. But I can't overemphasize the importance of this accelerating technology in terms of how it influences everything. Uh, it is it is the dominant uh, influence for most things. But I, I would say it'll lead to e more economic growth, but be quite disruptive for industries that are unable to to cope or to adjust rapidly enough to this. It will be and is already a liberating factor in terms of mm. uh, labor, but also it weighs on wages uh, for many people, and not just blue collar uh, wages, but white collar as, as well, because uh, part of the, the whole technology boom is that uh, you get smart, um, smart software and uh, machines that can do a number of jobs more efficiently than, than individuals. And that, that uh, can have a downward effect on, 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 on wages overall before, uh, uh, you know, before they pick up once again due to better, better global GDP growth that we're seeing. But as a, as a net, uh, uh, I would say as a net uh, effect, uh, technological innovation is good for global GDP growth. It's it's a remarkable human achievement. It has far far more positives than than negatives, and it can challenge all kinds of, of problems. Uh, we know so much about uh, pollution uh, and uh, mm -hmm. the, the plastics problem in the oceans. John, well, how are you going to cure that? How are you going to get rid of that? Uh, well, technology will be very much at the forefront of, of that and just about uh, everything else that, um, that, that we see. It should make for a cleaner, uh, healthier overall economic environment over the long term.